just like life, you know, your characters evolve just like you do in life, you know. Uh, uh, you have family, they get in problems, uh, you know, you get, uh, you know, you get older and wiser, you know. Hopefully. So, uh, at <laughs> any rate, uh, but yeah, basically, it's, it's, that's what uh, daytime's about. I mean, it's, I've always said, we get our stories from life, you know, and, uh, and families growing up and families like getting heightened, in problems. Somewhat heightened. Well, all drama is heightened. Life. You know, daytime, nighttime, movies. I've always likened it to Air Force One. And, you know, we always catch all for our stuff. Air Force One, when uh, Gary Wetsy face uh, and Harrison Ford says, get off my plane, they're fighting with the whole tail end off, you know. And I'm going, they'd have been sucked out in a minute. So at any rate, it's all heightened. <laughs> it's called dramatic life. Well, it, it's wonderful. But it's basically about families, and it's uh, yeah. the involvement yeah. of that. It's wonderful to work with the same actors for a period of time, because it grows. And the same is true of a long run on a show. This is a very long-running show. As we know, 50 years is, is a record. And it's wonderful to have that continuity. And then the writers uh, approach your character and find very interesting ways to get you involved in danger or trouble or sadness or happiness. It's a, it's a great job. And I love the fact that it's like a rep company. We, we are used to working with each other. And that adds to the work, adds to the scenes, yeah. that you and know the characters, you know. True. And, it's, and it changes, you know, you get different writers and. Some are a little more extreme than others, you know. The Riley days were yeah, we've more had like some pretty what, wild stuff. what Peggy's talking about. But uh, the writers we have now are very realistically oriented, really incredible. You get very, when, when very I'm real stuff. It's like all the cop stuff I'm doing is real stuff. We had stuff with Mom and I that is uh, uh, very good without telling things ahead, but uh, stuff really, that we had to make nice. decisions on. Very very I just nice know when I came on the show the first day, uh, I had done a soap years ago in New York, and I was stunned to see a gong and uh, Tibetan monks chiming and chanting. I went, what kind of daytime show is this? Yeah, that had to be the Riley day. <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> anyway, we are yeah. more, less adventuresome in that yeah. sense, but and it's, it's wonderful. The question is, which one will die? Mm. <laughs> and then the only thing I can say, it's being very well done. And yeah. it's, I think the audience is going to find it very exciting and very intriguing and, and very, very, uh, a lot more less crazy than a little bit more people oriented. We have a and great uh, boss in Ken Corday. He's yes. a wonderful man, and I mean that very sincerely. He cares about us, and he cares very much about the show, and that's beautiful. Yeah. He's not a distant or, uh, uh, we're, we see him, and we know him, and it's wonderful. Yeah. And the key to Kenny is, is he really, sincerely, just loves his cast, and he loves his crew, and he loves the people that work for Days of Our Lives, and, and, and that's not just blowing smoke. Yeah. Uh, I've known him for a long, long time, and that is his main uh, main passion is yeah. the people on the show and making it better he was, and better. He was a very better. good musician. He's incredible. And musician. when his father died, he came to be beside mm -hmm. his mother and run the show, and that says a whole lot to me. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and we're, we're, a, we're a good bunch, we're and we, bunch. we like working together very much. And a very there's just a lot of incredible talent on the show and you mm -hmm. always get a kick out of working yeah, all with kinds people of and uh, people. this one is <laughs> one of the most. He's a good guy. Oh, they're wonderful. The fans for this show are so enthusiastic when you come in contact with them in an appearance. It blows you away. They're very enthusiastic people. And that's, that's for an actor on television or film, you don't hear the audience. But when you meet the fans, you are hearing them and you are seeing them and how much they really love the show. And that's wonderful for actors, I think it is. Yeah, it's extraordinary. As, as I've often said, fans are important to every show or they wouldn't be on. That's you true. Know, so, uh, and all fans you know, have their 
their favorites, but uh, our fans have, have always been incredibly loyal. And uh, and like Peggy says, when we when you go out and you know, I always used to do a lot of personal appearances, and we're in the stage, and then you don't really realize until you get out there, and then you go, oh wow, yeah, it and has have, an incredible they, impact. They, they're enthusiastic. They have a sense of humor, mm -hmm. but and they are devoted. I mean, yeah. they are devoted. Fans. And daytime television does a lot as far as moving the social agenda forward, you know, True. and Some always has, lines. whether it was, you know, in the early days, we, we you had know, a, we had a, marriage, uh, women's rights, et cetera. We, we dealt with up. AIDS, we dealt yeah. with gay marriage. Yeah. It's very uh, a remarkable and positive, and that's courageous, and it's worthwhile. Yeah. And it's always <laughs> been a, it's a, a brave medium, you know, so it's, uh, it's moved things forward, and I've always been very proud of it. I just couldn't be prouder of this group, and I just also want to say to to the fans, thank you, and uh, thank and you. Uh, put your seat belts on because there are a lot of good yeah, things coming at you. Exciting stuff. Yeah. Huh? <laughs>